Hey guys, this is an update on the Lorenz violin. It's currently uh, February 19th, 17 days away from the competition in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I just wanted to do this little vlog to keep myself updated uh, and in time with when things have to get done. Um, here, I can show you the model as it exists right now. I'm at home, I'm at, so I, I can't, the thing is at school, of course. Um, I do everything in CAD, uh, just to make sure everything fits together. Um, it looks basically like this right now. Um, you can see the boxes built around, you can see some basic things you might recognize are slightly different from in the video. Um, this is a beefier motor, um, for more torque. Uh, this is now a direct drive instead of, uh, the pulley. Actually, I've removed this now because direct drive is incredibly noisy. Um, probably because of the uh, discrete like magnets inside here, which are adding noise. So like I still needed the damping from the uh, the rubber band in the uh, the pulley. So that's back on. Also behind here, oh my god, oh my god, timing belts just so fucking crucial. Oh my god, like I was using like an actual pulley before with a string and like 3D printed. No, not does not work at all. This is, these are like 3D printed, or no, actually I got these from McMaster Car um, because they were actually cheaper than the resin I would have used to, used to print them. What else? Um, so, okay, okay. I'm gonna show you guys in two seconds, I'm going to show you the new version of this, the new theoretical version of this. Right, what we have here, okay, I have something that works, that can be performed at the concert. Um, I'm not happy with it, I'm not satisfied with it. I think it's, a little goofy, and I think we can do make this a little cleaner and prettier. I'm gonna show you my theoretical thing that I can maybe build in 17 days, but maybe also maybe not. Three, two, one. Okay, this is the new and improved. Is it called the Lorenz Violin Seven? I have seven of these. Uh, gonna be like I think the fifth one I've built. Um, this it looks like a guitar, but it's asymmetrical, and it'd be made of maple and pine, maybe. Well, maybe pine. I don't know. I could stick. Um, these are the 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 Eiffels are sigmas because I thought it was cute that I thought it was a funny joke that like the, the violins have integral signs and this is a digital instrument. So haha. Um, can we? Uh, originally, I was going to one of the most complicated parts I'd ever made in Inventor. I made for version right before this. Absolutely incredible. Uh, we're gonna open this up. Oh, oh man, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Inspect you. I made it 3D, like a dummy. Look at this thing. Look at these curves. Look at, look at this. It's beautiful, and also terrible and oh god look at the sun on it it's so shiny um we would have to have like i saw a video on youtube of a guy um like seeing seeing a violin plate um and i realized if it was like flip seeing seeing um but that would have been so difficult to do especially like me a novice at this so we're just gonna uh do some if we do this, this would just be um, uh, laser cut using very thin uh, plain wood. And the sides, the sides we can actually bend using a, I'm going to say it, soldering iron. <laughs> anyway, um, what else? A bit different. Yeah, so going back to uh, these guys here. Um, yeah, so that's what I have for right now.